cream anything cream highlighter cream contour cream meh. hi guys it's monica welcome back to my channel or if you're new welcome first of all the not quite elephant in the room i did dye my hair i was so sick of the way the blonde was kind of fading out if you don't know before i actually started my channel like in earnest if you don't know or if this is your first video with me i used to have an under dye where the entire bottom half was dyed blonde i bleached all of it and then i tried to dye it silver now the salon i went to wasn't the best and they actually ran out of hair dye like halfway through doing my hair so at the end of the day honestly it was horrible the gray stayed in my hair it wasn't even silver it was like gray so the gray only stayed for about a week and then it totally washed out and i was left with like this weird half bleached blonde kind of thing i tried to rock it for a little bit but then i honestly got sick looking at it and it was grown out too right about here so if like from here down was totally blonde so i eventually got kind of sick of it and i went and dyed it myself i got a box of red dye and a two boxes of black dye and i had to dye the bleached parts red first just to put the undertones back in there and then i bleached the or bleached and then i dyed the rest of it black and i'm really liking the way that it turned out especially like in the sun oh, this looks really pretty so i'm really happy with the way it turned out i definitely need a trim i will go to a salon for a trim i will not try cutting my own hair um so that was a really long tangent anyway so as you can tell from the title of this video i am doing my makeup style tag it's my first tag i wasn't actually tagged in it but i tagged myself you know that that counts that counts so I wasn't tagged by anybody, but I did see this from the Daisy Girlies channel. I saw her video, so I'll go ahead and link her channel and her video down below. So there are 10 questions a year, and they're all about your own way of doing makeup, your own makeup style, and I'm excited, so let's just go ahead and jump in. So the first question is, what kind of eye primer do you use and why? Liquid eye primer or shadow stick? I like to use either a liquid eye primer or I use one of the MAC paint pots, especially in Painterly. And I have to use one of those because I have really, really oily eyelids and I have to like set my eyes no matter what. I have to prime them and set them or my eyeshadow will just, it'll just come right off like immediately. So I currently, So currently, my favorite eyeshadow primer has been the one from Milani. It's really affordable. You can grab it at CVS. They have coupons. But I've also been working on finishing up my MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot in Painterly. I bought this almost a year ago, and I don't know if you can see. I've got, like, a dent in there, but it's nowhere near being done. So I've kind of been working on finishing this up. But I've also really been enjoying the Milani. The next question is, what color eyeshadow makes you feel bold and pretty at the same time? I think this would have to be either black or green. I've been really into green eyeshadow recently, but it's so different, so like out of my comfort zone that I, it makes me feel a bit bolder whenever I wear it, but I, I love it. And it makes me feel just so pretty. Recently, I've been loving this Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette. It's one of her five pans. This is eyeshadow palette number 11, and I've been using the greens in this palette, and oh, don't look at my nails, I was horrible, and it's just beautiful. So I think green has been recently my favorite color to wear, and it's been taking me out of my comfort zone. I wore it to work a couple of times, but it's definitely more of like a, a bold out there look. So there's actually two parts the question two the second part of question two is what eyeshadow color do you least like to wear and why honestly there's not a whole lot of eyeshadow that I don't like to wear I love eyeshadow it's like my favorite part of doing my makeup every day but I think my least favorite color the one I really shy away from is pink I like using reds I like using deep like dark want like colors that have you know have depth to them but when it comes to like light bright pink like Lauren May Beauty, like I could never wear what she does. I don't know what it is, but I personally don't feel comfortable wearing like bright neon pink. I'm trying to work on that. I did pick up the um, I did pick up that um, the Electric Obsessions palette from Huda Beauty, and that does have a couple of pink shades in there. So I am trying to work on finding like a pink look that 
works for me and makes me feel comfortable but so far I'm just not I'm not there yet question number three is do you wear liquid or pencil eyeliner black or brown definitely black no matter what it is if it's a gel eyeliner that I wear in my waterline or if it's a liquid eyeliner like I wear every day it's black or ultra black I'd never go brown I did try a brown eyeliner and I don't know it just it doesn't look as good it looks too soft for liquid or pencil eyeliner I wear both most days I like on for an everyday basis I like wearing a nude pencil liner in my waterline and then I wear a winged eyeliner with black liquid liner pretty much every day of my life that I think that was the one thing that really got me into makeup was I saw the way winged liner looked on everybody and I was like that's amazing I want to learn how to do that and it was kind of all downhill from there Question four is CoverGirl or Maybelline Mascara? Come on, you know you're one way or the other. To be honest, like when it comes to mascara, I really like the Essence ones. I don't really use a whole lot of Maybelline or CoverGirl, but as of right now, I think I only have one of them in my collection, we'll see. Okay, so the only one I actually have in my collection right now is from CoverGirl. It's their new or new-ish peacock flare mascara i haven't actually tried it out yet i just hauled it in my last haul if you want i can go ahead and throw that up in the cards technically i guess that means covergirl wins because i have it sure let's go with that question number five if you could have your eyebrows permanently done or not wear any blush for the rest of your life what would you choose i would probably choose the brows my brows are pretty close to being perfect i do have a lot of hair i don't struggle with not having enough hair I struggle with just keeping up with how often I have to pluck my hair because I have so much of it I've recently gotten down a routine that I really like I mix like a pencil for the beginning part of my brow and then I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow for the tail and I really like how it turns out and honestly like I never wear blush I'm not a fan of blush I personally I have like redness that comes out right around here so when I wear makeup I don't want to put on foundation concealer powder and everything just to put the redness back on my face so I'll contour I'll highlight but I won't touch blush like at all it's just not my thing question number six does your best friend or you wear more makeup definitely me it was funny because back in college it was like opposite and my best friend used to be able to put on makeup like a pro and I actually asked her for tips and I, I had no idea what I was doing back then and now we flipped and I have a huge, not huge, but I have a makeup collection. I do videos now. It's like my big hobby and she like wears makeup for special occasions or maybe sometimes for work. So it's kind of funny how we like flip flopped recently. Question number seven, who taught you how to do makeup? The internet. <laughs> I didn't really get into makeup until my late teens, early 20s when I had like my first real job. Like I'm not like... Like I had jobs before then, but my first real like office job, like look presentable kind of job. And back then I used to only do eye makeup. Like I didn't touch foundation or anything else until I turned like 23. And I never really felt a need for it. Like I never really had issues with my skin. My skin was fairly even. I've actually only dealt with acne in the past year, which is strange to me. I think it has to do, I think it's mostly hormonal, but that's another issue. I've only recently gotten into like foundation, concealer and everything because honestly it intimidated the hell out of me. Like when I first started makeup, it's like I got to put, I had no idea how to apply anything. I had no idea how to make things last throughout the day and I learned all of that online. I read a lot, I watched a lot of videos, I got onto YouTube. I watched YouTube for a good two years before I even thought of trying to start a channel just because... I love this so much and it's really hard to find people like in real life that are as passionate about your hobbies as you are so I thought I would find a better community online for my favorite hobby so that's where it came from. Question number eight, are you a fan of cream products? Why or why not? I'm not and the reason is personally i am a powder girl i powder everything and i set everything and it's because i have combination skin and because i work long day long active days and i can't not set something because by the end of the day i'll look like a hot mess and because i like powder so much i've never really gotten comfortable or gotten into 
cream anything cream highlighter cream contour cream meh. normally i'll do foundation concealer and then set and then just go and powder everything i'm just more comfortable with like powder bronzer powder contour powder highlight i'm just more comfortable with them and i like the way that they last throughout the day better number nine are you a project panner what projects are you in right now I'm a very beginner when it comes to project panning. I just started my first project. It is a Pan That palette for 2018. If you missed my intro, I'll go ahead and throw it up in the cards. But I'm panning the Lolita palette from Marc Jacobs. I'm not going to open it because I do have a lot of information for the next update. If that's not out already, go ahead and stay tuned and subscribe because I'm really excited about how this is already going. But that's really the only thing that I've really gotten into. I love watching videos on project panning and I really do want to use my collection more. So I'm starting small with just that one project. But throughout this year, I really do want to expand and do a couple more projects with my makeup. And then maybe go throw in a couple project use it ups with I have a lot of lotion and I have a lot of fragrances that I really want to get through. So I would like to do more this entire year. And number 10, setting spray. Do you believe in it? What is your holy grail? Yes. <laughs> I Without setting spray, I couldn't do anything. Setting spray is what gets me through most days. I work long hours, long active hours. I'm never sitting down for more than a couple minutes at a time. And I walk to and from work. So if my makeup is not primed, set to perfection, it's not staying on there. So my Holy Grail setting spray is actually from Scandinavia. It is the makeup finishing spray from Scandinavia. Now the last time they had a sale, I actually went and bought the big bottle. I don't know if you can tell, it's like as big as my head. This is the eight fluid ounces. And what I do is I pour this into one of the mini um, Fix Plus bottles from MAC and I use that because this is actually too big for me to try to like hold and spray at my face every day. Um, but I do love this formula. It sets everything. It makes my makeup last all day and without it I wouldn't be able. I don't know what I would do like This is the like makeup setting spray is the one thing where if I ran out of it I couldn't do my makeup. I just wouldn't wear makeup like because what what I do <laughs> All right, that is everything for my makeup style tag. I tag anyone that watches this video that wants to do it as well. Consider yourself tagged. That way you don't have to tag yourself like I did. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up so I know you'll want to see more tags in the future. And I hope you'll subscribe before you leave. And I'll see you in one of my next videos. Bye.